Welcome everybody, today we're going to be looking over the 50th anniversary for travel. At the 2016 Tampa RV show, this was the one that we really liked the most. It is absolutely gorgeous. This 50th anniversary coach, they really paid attention to every single detail. It was plain to see they really pulled out all the stops for this coach. They tried to make it as fancy and as nice as possible. This coach features pneumatic seals for the slide outs and also has all power trays for the undercarriage. This is a 700 man hour paint job with seven clear coats. All the graphics done on this coach was done by computer generated drawings. This coach is powered by the K3 GT Spartan chassis with a 600 horsepower Cummins diesel engine. Now we'll give you a quick tour of the interior. Hi everybody! Here we are in the 50th anniversary for travel and it is beautiful. It's the closest thing to a small apartment on wheels that we've ever seen. If I didn't know that this driving part existed, I would think I was in an apartment. So starting off with this part up here, it's so comfy and squishy, I could just sleep right here on this nice soft leather. I'd also like to point out that this leather right here, that's just for looks, is equally as soft. We also have... Um, digital system all up front. I don't even know what any of these buttons are, but there's three screens, so that seems really important. So you have a ton of storage above the driving area. Starting on the left side, wrapping all the way around to the passengers, you have little storage above every single square inch possible. There's a good size TV in the middle and more storage bringing all the way around to this side where we have our Wi-Fi Ranger. So what this does is picks up Wi-Fi from outside of the coach and brings it into the coach. And then you're ready to go, that's all you have to do. Really convenient. Coming into the living area, you have a fireplace, which is really cool. Right above it, a huge TV, really nice. My favorite part personally is this little bar area, I think it's awesome, with these really squishy bar seats. Super comfy, you can look out the window and eat breakfast, drink a beer, glass of wine, whole bottle of wine, it's really comfy. Over here, we have our main couch in the living area. That nice leather again, really comfortable. I also love the color scheme in this coach. It's kind of like a retro black and red look. It looks really clean and fun at the same time. You have some storage space to the right of the couch. There's also storage to the left of the couch, moving into the kitchen area. We have a ton of drawers on this side. Right next to those is the dishwasher. Right above the dishwasher is your four burner stove top. And then your full convection microwave oven. More storage to the right. This just pulls out. Even more storage to the left. The cool feature is that this is padded on the inside for dishes and plates and whatnot. The sink is really deep, which is nice. You have room for a lot of dishes. And then, of course, you have the traditional storage underneath the sink. Across the way here, we are actually in the slide-out area now, which you can't even tell other than this line, because this does have a flush slide-out, as well as heated floors. My toes are nice and warm. This is the coolest fridge I've ever seen. We have a full residential fridge with a water filter. Beautiful area for all the foods you can imagine. And this is the coolest part of the whole entire coach. These little drawers here are specific for, you have a produce drawer, and then over here you can select if it's drinks, greens, deli, or you wanna thaw or marinate something. That is so cool and then your freezer. Next to the fridge, we have the pantry space. Huge, lots of pull-out drawers for all of your goods. And across the way from that, we do have the half bath. Again, you see those really awesome patterns, the black and red and white, kind of going for that retro look. Plenty of storage underneath there for just the first bathroom of the coach. This is the entertainment system cupboard. There's lots of things in there that I'm not really sure what they do. Some sort of music television. I'm not sure, but it looks fun. 
The control panel in this coach is also beautiful, of course. It's all digital. With a push of a button, I can control the air in every single room in this small apartment on wheels. Everything you need, right here. Battery power, you have your inverter, generator, pump, everything. Just right here at the push of a button. The bed space is beautiful with a lot of storage over top. And when you're laying down, there's a cool little mirror light system up top. It's really fancy. Across from the bed, this actually, you can't tell because right now it's just a window, but this actually is a pull-out TV. It just pops out with the push of a button. How cool is that? Next to the TV, we have some storage space, some shelving, and then right underneath on either side of the TV slash window are some more drawers for storage. So definitely a lot of room in this unit. This is the coolest part besides the fridge. This bathroom is beautiful. So starting on this side, we have the full closet space with a built-in safe, which is an awesome feature, and a full stackable washer dryer unit. Full length mirror on both sides. Across the way is the toilet room. Still looking cute. This is what we mean by a small apartment. If you didn't know you were in an RV, this is basically what you would find in a really cool, chic apartment. The shower, of course, is beautiful, really spacious. Again, small apartment size. Overall, this unit is really beautiful. There's zero things wrong with it and it has everything you need and more to fit a good sized family or just a couple living full time on the road. Thanks for watching and to see more of our touring videos visit tinyhome.tours.